Driving a brand new car is undeniable, not to mention that new car smell, which we all love. It almost always makes more financial sense to buy a used car. After all, it's still new to you. Well, Gary Gonzalez, general manager with Zia Kia of Santa Fe, has a new way to roll. Good morning, Gary. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. I'm so Good. happy you're here with us. <laughs> well, like too. a new way to roll. Now, okay, <clears throat> this is the thing. I want to give a little statistic. New, okay. new cars actually lose about 40% of their value within three Three years. Not to mention they lose some value as soon as they're driven off the lot, aren't they? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, and so that said, would you recommend new or used? I always recommend used. Really? Always, Okay, yeah. tell me why. Well, personally, I just feel comfortable with them, mm -hmm. and you save thousands of dollars. You really do. And, and I'm kind of notoriously cheap. <laughs> So saving, saving thousands is great. Smart. Financially <laughs> smart, not cheap. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, okay, because they lose value, you really, at the same, I mean, when you really think about it, it makes sense in the long run. You're saving money by, by driving off. And like I said, it's Absolutely. still new to you. So right. what, what are the benefits then, of, aside from the finances, of buying a used car over new? Well, yeah, I, I think the biggest benefit is just the money. Okay. Um, but you're able to buy um, usually a current model, sometimes mm -hmm. two or three years old, very low mileage, still True. under a factory warranty. And there are also, you know, extended warranties available. But the financing that you can get on is, is similar to what you get on a new car anyway. Is it really? Yeah. Well, okay, so then what information would a buyer need to know if they're coming in and they're saying, okay, I, I want to get a used car. What, what should they already have in mind? as far as questions to ask, as far as information that they maybe should have researched ahead of time? Well, I, I think probably one of the most important thing is find out, um, first of all, who you're dealing with. The dealer okay. is really important. It is important. We do at Zia Kia, we do a, 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 an extensive safety check. Okay. And I think oh. it's a good idea for the customer to come in and ask us what we did to it, what we found, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, kind of puts a little little honesty on us, you know. Yeah, so, it does. So we, had, we, we tell people what we did to them. And then also a good idea is, is a history report. Okay. Okay. Carfax auto check and that way that that's the pedigree of the car okay and it tells you a lot and if you read those things and tells you a lot about a used car and do you provide that to the customer absolutely okay we'll, good we'll give that to anybody that that asks for it I think that's important and if you don't ask you don't know you can't drive off the lot and say well nobody told me this if you've already <laughs> asked for that report and you have it there right. then you know now in that case uh, let me ask you would you be able to fix any of the problems that were there? Is that something that you do if, if the report comes out that there was a problem with the car? Well, what we do, our, my policy at Zia Kia is that we have uh, usually two or three things, five things, six things, whatever it is. Okay. We don't pick and choose in our reconditioning. We okay. either do everything that the service department recommends. Yes. Or we do nothing and we just wholesale it and it goes to another car dealer. Okay. Well, that's fair enough. Now, yeah. another thing a lot of people think about when they're getting a car is should I lease the car or should I finance the car? I mean, whether it's new or used, that's something we think about. What do you recommend? You know, that's a, that's a tough question. It depends mm -hmm. on how you use the vehicle. Okay. When, you, when you lease a vehicle, you're only paying for the use. Sure. When you finance it, you're obviously paying for the car. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the, the credit requirements are considerably higher yes. when you lease. Yes. And the insurance is quite a bit higher. Is it really? Yes. Great. So that's a couple of things. <laughs> you can save money on the payment, but you might not make it up on, uh, on insurance. And accountants like leasing for a business purpose because they just take the payment. They don't have to depreciate the car. Sure. All they have to do is write off the payment. So Exactly. Well, and it's something, I mean, at the end of the day, you're, it's almost like you're renting your car. For exactly. That, for, the, for the duration of that lease as opposed to owning it and having the opportunity to sell it and get some money back. Right. But speaking of um, money, should I spend my money when I have to service my car? Because I, I do always question with a used car, will there be more need for servicing the car. Would I do it at the car dealership or would I do it at a service shop? Uh, I always recommend going to the dealership. You would, okay. Uh, my kids, have, from the time they were able to drive, have, has, have always taken their vehicles to the dealership. Couple reasons for that. First, you'd be shocked at how much money we spend on special tools just to repair these things. Good point. And it would yeah. even, it's even scarier if you knew how much money we spent sending our technicians to school. Really? Right. And then also, it, what's interesting is that if, if you've had your vehicle serviced the whole time at the car dealership, uh -huh. then after the warranty, 
there's a problem. If the manufacturer can see that you did take care of mm. your car, the chances of getting that repaired by the manufacturer, even after the warranty is expired, uh -huh, uh -huh. are very good. That's a, that's a very important. That's good advice. I don't think yeah. a lot of people even think that way. <laughs> and, what, and what I also want to mention to our viewers is that Kia actually offers a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty on a new car. So what warranty would come with a used car? You know, typically they're just limited powertrain warranties. Okay. So um, although with our dealership at Zia Kia, if there's a problem that we should have had mm -hmm. that that comes about after the customers purchased it, yes. because we're a new car franchise, we typically just take care of it. We'll always that's do great. the right thing. Yeah, That's nice. I mean, and that's the thing. You want to be able to trust the person you buy your car from. And if no yeah. warranty is included, is it a good idea for somebody to pay for the extended warranty? I think it is, depending yes. on the cost. Okay. We, we just had, you know, there's some, uh, some vehicles out there where the warranties are up to a third as wow. much of the price of the vehicle. That's a lot wow. to pay. It is. But it's just health insurance for your car. That's all it is. Good and point. And most people have health insurance. So. Well, let's remind our viewers how they can find you. Well, we're Zia Kia. We're 1701 St. Michael's in Santa Fe, Santa Fe, New Mexico. Fantastic. And you can go to the website. And, of course, you can also find the information, as always, right here on our website as well at Costa.com. <laughs> Gary, thank you so much. Thank you. It was a pleasure. So nice to have you. And stick around because you'll want to taste the food. <laughs> Romance yeah. is in the air. Jan Laird is cooking for you and your Valentine. Don't go away. Thank you. Thank you very much.